Hello, welcome to another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace, reporting live here at Subculture here in New York City. As you might know, I've been celebrating the anniversary of my fifth year of the Pace Report. And one of the things on the Pace Report that I've done is I've introduced a lot of brand new talent. And tonight, two-time Grammy-nominated jazz vocalist and R&B vocalist Gregory Porter is blessing subculture tonight. And he has a lot to celebrate. He was just signed to Blue Note Records, and his upcoming record, Liquid Spirit, is in the same vein as what you've expected on his debut album, Water, as well as his follow-up, Be Good. Tonight, he and I are going to sit down and talk about his progression with the new label. We're going to talk about also how he's been able to successfully woo his fans overseas and how he's been able to really continue to stay focused on writing his own music as well as performing music of his generation. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the sounds. Mr. Greg Reporter, live here at Subculture here in New York City. Brother, you have come a long way. I mean, congratulations. I mean, this is a big feat, you know, Blue Note Records. How does it feel to be part of, one, a, a label that represents part of American roots music, which is jazz, and also just the direction that you're going with this musically? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful to be... Um yeah, invited into that family. It was uh, very, very, very cool and uh, surprising, and um, I, I just feel I feel blessed. I, and you know, I feel lucky to be able to sing. You know, all over the world, and uh, you know, I used to think that was funny to like say that. Oh, sing all over the world, but <laughs> my passport says that I've been to a lot of places now, and uh, and I'm I'm just uh, I'm thankful and surprised by it. Sometimes every day, I mean. I'm aware of the power of, that music has and the effect that it has on people and the enjoyment and, uh, and the things that it can bring, the enlightenment and all that kind of thing. But, um, you know, I'm always surprised that it's, 
you know, I'm a chosen person to, to, to be able to do it. God, God-given gift, I think, yeah. Gregory, let's talk about the concept of the record, Liquid Spirit. Now, your first, your debut album was Water. Yeah. <laughs> the second one was Be Good. There's a connotation to, to water. Yeah, yeah, there's, um, you know, it's the fruition of my mother's sermons. She used to talk about the redemptive power of water all the time. And of course, in the Christian tradition, water and blood, and, and uh, but but nature themes and water for me uh, it keep coming up in my writing, and I don't fight it when it comes, uh, which is the, essentially what Liquid Spirit is about. You know, unreroute the river, let the damned water be, let the water flow where it wants to flow, and. Uh, the theme of water, uh, kind of going in with my, with my uh, idea about music, uh, trying to be organic, uh, it kind of fits hand in hand. And that's, I think, in trying to be organic and trying to just be myself, settle myself, and, and catch these songs as they appear in the air. Uh, yeah, it, 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 uh, it's organic water. <laughs> Tell me about the concept of your new single, no Love Dying. I mean, this is a very, very personal song. Yeah. Defiance. It's, it's like defiant, uh, defiant will of, of, of there will be no love dying here. I will do all in my power to keep the strength and the power and the energy of this love current. And... Uh, it has personal meanings, but it also has like a universal meaning as well. I mean it to people. I mean, why, you know, we, 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 we love it. We, we, people love love. So let it flow. Let it happen. And, um, you know, let's not be shy about it. And so, uh, uh, you know. That theme has been sung before, you know, I, I think of a Nat King Cole song. And too many moonlight kisses seem to cool in the warmth of the sun. When I fall in love, it will be forever, you know. Uh, and so, this is just my alliteration of that theme of not letting uh, the most powerful energy on in the universe uh, dissipate. There will be no love that's dying The bird that flew in through my window suddenly lost in his way. He broke his wing, I helped him heal, and then he flew away. Well, the death of love. It's not a sign. 
what they should expect on this third record, Liquid Spirit. Yeah. Um, again, you know, when I, I knew that it was going to be a Blue Note record, it was, uh, there was no pressure because upon, you know, upon uh, our meeting uh, with the record company, they said, keep doing what you're doing, you know. And... I didn't have any pressure anyway. I, 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 my personality is to keep a healthy ignorance about, you know, what it means to, to be on a major record label, uh, what it means to even sometimes to be on stage with, you know, uh, Wynton Marsalis or John Faddis or any one of the, you know, or, or Hubert Laws or any one of the other masters that I've worked with. You know, if you keep a, like, a, like a healthy <laughs> ignorance, these things just seem like normal places and normal things to do. And, um, and that can keep you grounded in a way, you know? It's not a situation where you're, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're diminishing any accomplishments or diminishing anybody else's accomplishments. You just, my, my point is, is I can only be Greg Reporter. And I'm gonna try to be the best that I can be, but I can still only be Greg Reporter in my skin and be in, who I am with my experiences, my background, my mama, you know, I can only be that person. And this is jazz, and I'm supposed to have an individual and unique footprint. And my footprint is not supposed to be like anybody else's. So uh, if I am saying something that's unique or singing something that's unique but that the audience enjoys, I'm... I'm uh, I'm definitely appreciative of that and, and thankful for, for my uniqueness, yeah. You're in the great annals of great soul songwriters as far as love as well as the spiritual side of it. I mean, Curtis Mayfield wrote a lot about it, uh, Bill Withers, 
Smokey definitely was the poet. Yeah. How do you fuse both of those together? Because, I mean, it seems like the, the, the spirit really has allowed you to write some of these beautiful songs. Yeah. Um, you know, I am, uh, I'm just trying to, uh, you know, I don't want to make it seem like this, you know, it's all just this, I'm just sitting back and letting, letting things just happen. No, there is some, some, some thought, but I'm not so calculating as, as, you know, as, as saying, okay, I need to have five love songs on this record. No, it's just, uh. When I catch a feeling and an energy, and I feel, you know, however simple or complicated, I just want to catch it when it's in me. And uh, the energy for these songs just, uh, they appear in my, in my heart and in my head. And so I capture them. And, uh, and thus far, it's, it's been a positive uh, a thing for, you know, for people who are listening. And, and I'm thankful for that. I mean, I... I uh, <laughs> You know. Yeah, I love to write. I love to write, yeah. The night is falling And you have soaked your secret Silken gown with tears Your love was all in he mistook your come stay call for come quick dear You need me near You need me near After I have seen That's when it starts You gain your confidence And leave your innocence And vulnerability with me After I have saved Then you gain your confidence and leave your innocence and vulnerability with me. Ten years into this, and you have a very, very healthy fan base overseas, and here tonight, you know, I've just, like I said, I've seen you, th I've seen, this is growth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has all of this changed? I mean, you're married now, you, 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 have, you have a child. I mean, how has all this changed, Greg Reporter? Um, you know, it's funny, as I haven't had an opportunity <laughs> to slow down and assess the changes. Now, I mean, I don't, I don't feel any different. Um... You know, it, it is funny to, to go through an airport somewhere in, in Europe and now even, even, you know, in my neighborhood because, you know, I've had some, some videos that, that have, you know, been on national television and like, you know, just, you know, cats come running out of their house. Yo, GP, you know, <laughs> people I didn't even know knew my existence, you know, that's, that's, that's interesting. Um, that's interesting, you know, uh, sometimes getting stopped in the airport, that stuff like that. Um, I love people. People are generous and, and, and beautiful, and they want to, to, to touch you and acknowledge your, uh, you know, your success and your talent. I'm, 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 I'm thankful for that. Uh, but how I've changed, my whole process is to try to stay organic and try to continue to be me. Um, one thing that may have changed is just the level of confidence, like um, that I may... I may belong in some of the places that I that I am, uh, because uh, 
you know, it just, uh, my talent and, and my presence sometimes keeps getting reaffirmed by some of my, my, my idols. And um, I'm, 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 I'm thankful. It's not false modesty that I have. It's just, you know, to take it all in and to, 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 to be, you know, sitting with some of the people that you've idolized for so many years, uh, it can expand one's ego. But, and I, I, I don't let it and I can't let it because, um, well, because of who my mama was. But, but uh, because I, you know, I feel like it's a gift and I'm, I'm a vessel and some, you know, sometimes that's what I feel. Yeah. That'll do it again for another edition of the Pace Report, reporting live here at Subculture here in New York City. I'd like to personally congratulate and thank the wonderful Greg Reporter for his time. Congratulations for his signing with Blue Note Records. Also, I'd like to personally thank the staff and management here at Subculture for the hospitality. As always, please visit my website, www.thepacereport.com, for my weekly column as well as my past segments. Until next time, remember, if it's in the groove, it'll make you move. Till next time, peace. Hungry round the river, the water beam. There's a river down the way that's thirsty, and the living spirit free. The folk are thirsty, cause a man a natural hand. What happens when the man gets wind of water?